guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We have a Zara haul today, which I'm very excited to share with you because I have some Christmassy things, some of the cutest things from Zara Home, which I cannot wait to share with you. I've also made myself a morning coffee. This is my first of the day. So it's very welcome right now. There's just nothing better than that first sip of morning coffee. I love it. And I've also got it in my Christmassy Emma Bridgewater mug with the biscuits and the festive stars and everything on. So make sure you are set with a nice cozy drink yourself. Maybe even some snacks, light the candles, maybe even a glass of Prosecco, depending on what time you're watching this video. And let's jump in to the haul. Before I show you the Zara items, I do firstly have a sponsor for today's video, Anna Luisa. They are a jewelry brand, which I have talked about before. Most of my jewelry is from Anna Luisa. These like huggies, my everyday kind of huggy hoop earrings. I wear are from Anna Luisa. They also have some amazing offers on with Cyber Monday. They've got loads of offers on right now. They've also got an upcoming um, winter sale in December. So loads of amazing discounts to be had. And I do also have a discount code for A20, which will get you 20% off. Now I'm gonna show you some pieces that I have picked out this time around. All their packaging and everything is carbon neutral. Sustainability is definitely kind of at the forefront of this brand. Also the affordability is great without compromising on the quality of these items hence why they make such a lovely gift so in this first little pouch it's a set of rings which are kind of stackable so it's kind of a moon crescent and a star shape which you can pair together or kind of have them as separates and that kind of crescent and star obviously is all year round but it's kind of a little touch of festive with that i'll keep these jewelry pieces on actually um and then i also speaking of a little star for the festive season picked up this beautiful necklace can you see the little glitz on that it's just such a pretty touch of sparkle for the party season i'm gonna pop this on this one's called the river necklace it's got three kind of um varying lengths that you can choose from i'll put it on the longest so you can see it at its full length but they do actually do necklace extenders which I've got one of um, which is great again if you're wanting to if you've got a necklace that you already love but you just want to extend it a little bit more then you can do so so that is that necklace on so so pretty then next up I have a pair of earrings because of the shape of them they kind of look like a bit of a runner sort of like you can have them going up your ear and these are called the Amelia um, earrings then last but not least I also picked up one more necklace and this one is called the Penelope necklace, it's a layered one, this one. So again, that little touch of glitz there, um, a bit less festive, I would say, and more of an everyday type of necklace. It's quite nice to have the two-tiered um, element to that necklace, but yeah. So they are some pieces that I have picked up for myself recently. I will leave a link to Ana Luisa down below where you can start shopping and start saving with those offers currently on as well. Thank you to Ana Luisa again for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into sharing with you some of the Zara items. I'll start with this home package. Although I have opened this, and I do think there are more home items in the regular boxes box number one the first thing i picked up we all know i love a festive mug is this gorgeous kind of retro vintage style rocking horse design they also had a gingerbread house design which i was very tempted for i kind of wish i got the set now just have like a dark red rim look like they're like the shape of an enamel mug but they're not they are ceramic and i just think that is so festive and nostalgic for christmas day if you're hosting or around christmas day boxing day whenever it may be they do these place card holders and they're essentially a red peg with a little holly designed card which you just write the name on clip the peg to it and the peg just kind of stands either um on the place setting or if you do mini place gift bags with gifts in or something then you can pop that um kind of attached to the gift bag or if you do a scratch card you can kind of peg it to the scratch card as well i love the idea of having a kind of few random retro like individual baubles on a tree and i do have like a mini tree in our bedroom which doesn't have any on currently so i think i might pop a couple of baubles on it this one being the first one i'm loving the whole kind of burgundy color i feel like burgundy is a theme that runs throughout our 
Christmas decorations anyway. Then the last thing that I got in this box is a garland and it's a very simply a white paper garland with these little circular shapes on with the gold stars. So very delicate and minimal, good for like maybe a kid's bedroom if you've got kids or just kind of draped along a mantelpiece or even kind of intertwined within a uh, garland that you've got on your mantelpiece. I mean, you could have it just anywhere really. You could have it kind of like dangling along somewhere like this. So yeah, that is everything in that box. Ooh, I was like, what is this in this packaging? But I know what it is now. Um, it says there is no beauty, only beauties. So they've got a separate bag for the beauty items that I picked up. This is a blush. I wanted to try the Zara, well, I've wanted a kind of like orangey toned blush for a while now. And I saw that Zara do them, but only about sort of seven to eight pounds, 7.99 I think it was. And I saw this color and I thought it'd be perfect. It's called Scandal. Is it called Scandal? Yeah, BL308 Scandal. So I have to try this out and let you guys know how I get on with it. They're only quite small, but I mean, blushes seem to last me forever. So it's a little mirror on one side and then that is the actual shade of the blush. How nice is that? Oh no, it's been taken out of my basket. I'm pretty sure I had in my basket, it must have either sold out or I don't know, but I had a golden retriever toy, uh, not toy, like a bauble for the tree. I'm gonna have to go back online and see if I can order it. I also picked up a perfume. Now they do this in the full size, it's called Red Temptation, but I decided to just get the smaller one. I think the smaller ones are only about five pounds, but good way to test the waters with a fragrance. Now Zara dupe high-end fragrances really well, I think. And this Red Temptation scent is known for duping the Baccarat Rouge, which even makes sense. Rouge, Red Temptation. So I'm gonna try it on, it's like a rollerball application okay it's definitely similar I feel like I feel like it's not quite as intense it's definitely similar I feel like the difference main difference is going to be the longevity that's the only thing with a cheaper perfume if it's got like it's not oil based it's not going to linger as long but that smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge. I know Baccarat Rouge very, very well. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got some clothes now to share with you. I'm gonna show you this. This is the most expensive item I picked up and it is beautiful. Is it the most expensive? Yeah, I think so. I got this jacket in a medium. So I've got in a couple of colors this year, I've noticed. There was one that I was tempted for that had like a kind of light fur or like teddy fleecy liner with a brown outer, but when I saw the khaki version with the chocolate brown, I thought actually that's probably more me and I'll probably get more wear out of this color than I would the other one. So I decided to bite the bullet, invest. It is so soft. I feel like that is gonna be the coziest coat to wear with like leather leggings, even just leggings on like a nice countryside walk, but you wanna just be super, super wrapped up warm. Pub lunch, that's the kind of scene that I'm envisaging wearing that, or even just shopping around town in winter. Next up, I got a co-ord. There were a few new co-ords that I saw and I loved the look of. This first one being something a little bit different to anything I already own. So first of all, the top is, it's like in a camel color. I think they had other colors though. Um, I got the top in a large at 19.99. And then the bottom half to this co-ord is actually a skirt. So I feel like this is the sort of um, co-ord that you can wear together, look nice, maybe pair with chunky boots, a nice big coat. But then equally you could wear these as separates. You could just pair this with like some nice comfy trousers around the house or even jeans just tucked in. And then equally this skirt you could wear with like a nice thicker knit, like chunky knit jumper. Wear this one underneath. If you wanna be extra warm, so I got the skirt in a medium at 17.99. It's lovely and soft, not at all itchy because we all know that even if there's a hint of itch, I'm not wearing it. Then I had a quick look at the festive party wear section. This is a high neck knit dress. So very, very comfortable, very stretch. Well, I say very stretchy. It's 
thick enough to like feel supportive without being too uncomfortable but it does feel quite supportive i will say that really nice kind of cap sleeve design i feel like that's going to be really flattering and look quite expensive it's only 22.99 in a medium there were other colors as well i thought i would just play it safe with the black one but now i know how thick this knit is i feel like the lighter version would be absolutely fine and then also from the festive party wear section i've got a cohort in this beautiful like fur green color i love this color it's one of my favorite colors to wear green and i just feel like this at christmas beautiful so it's one of these satiny sets that looks like pajamas when actually it's not again you can wear them separate so you can wear them together i think this together on christmas day would be nice because it looks dressy but it's also comfortable um and yeah the bottoms i got in a medium at 32.99 i've got a couple of their satin shirts in a medium at 32.99 these are so well made and they do feel lovely. Next up, I've got these two items to share with you. You've got a pair of black trousers and a glitzy top from the festive section. They're not, um, they don't come as like a pair, but I thought I would pair them together to show you what they look like on. Now, the top was $22.99 in a medium to large. It's that same fabric, if ever you've tried it, the Limitless Contour, oh, it even says Limitless Contour Collection. It's that same kind of ribbed fabric that they do their leggings in and their bodysuits. And it's just got these glitzy kind of details along the bottom. So this for me is another possible outfit option for a Christmas do with heels, high-waisted trousers, and then a bit of midriff on show. And that glitz element just for the festive season. But they do have like matching mini skirts and all sorts that you could um, where in fact they've even got different kind of tops they've got long sleeve ones as well and in these trousers these were 32.99 and i got them in a medium they've got like a hidden zip on the side but other than that no fuss nothing on the front no buttons they even have to switch this out for a small though just for around the waist for it to fit a bit better then i've got this gorgeous blazer now i rave about zara blazers i think the quality of them are amazing the blazers that i keep in my wardrobe year in year out most of them are Zara. So I decided to invest in a kind of like check pattern. This one's actually more of like a hound's tooth. It's a brown country style check pattern. But again, yeah, if you can see, it's like a really small hound's tooth print. Yeah, I got this one in a small because they only had small left. Medium would have been ideal in this one um, because I think I would wear this one more as a layer like over a hoodie or something. Having said that, it's quite nice to maybe have the option to just style this up a bit smarter with not like extra layers underneath. But anyway, typically I would go for a medium, but small fits nonetheless. It was $59.99. I feel like I need a coffee break. One sec. It's the only problem with making your first coffee whilst filming. I do tend to get stuck into the unboxing and the opening of everything. I forget to have my coffee. So I picked up another trusty favourite of mine, one of their classic bodysuits. They've now got a few new colours. I've got this khaki green colour. They have gone up to $17.99. I remember the time when they were, I think it was at $11.99, then they jumped to $15.99. They're now at $17.99 and probably still creeping up, but um, I feel like I've got a good selection now. I've got white, black, I've got this colour now, and I just feel like, in fact, I think I've got two black ones. Yeah, I do. They're just a good basic, honestly. I don't wear any bra with them. They've got a second kind of layer, um, which stops here. Sorry, that wasn't showing you very well. Stops about here, just to like support, if you need that extra support, then you can wear a bra with it. It's just because they're kind of like slightly racist style that obviously your bra straps might be on show, so maybe just go strapless. But yeah, they're like a cheeky style back. They're not a thong. They're not, they're kind of like seamless, so you still can't see them anyway. And then I've got these two joggers. Both exactly the same, just in different colorways. I got the, in fact, I only think they do these two colorways, but I've just got a whiff of that red temptation. It smells lovely. It's lingering and I can smell it. So maybe invest. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to these. Um, they've got the matching hoodies. So I really wanted this set. And I originally had this kind of oatmeal shade in my basket with the hoodie. As I was about to check out, the hoodie went out of stock. So I switched it for the gray set and then the same thing happened. So what I ended up doing is being left with just the joggers. So I thought I'll get both joggers this time, wait for the hoodies to come back in stock, pick in person, which is my favorite color. I think I'm 
naturally I gravitate towards this one. However, I do love a, a classic gray tracksuit. So yeah, let me know which is your favorite color of the two. I've got a medium in both of them. They're $25.99. And then I think the hoodie, the matching hoodie is a similar, similar kind of price, but yeah. That is everything that I picked up. So I feel like I sped through this quite quickly, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out the Cyber Monday offers that Anna and Louisa currently have on. And of course, use my discount code FREA20 for 20% off. Amazing gift ideas for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this haul as well. Let me know which were some of your Zara faves that I picked up. And if you want to see them styled up even more, then head over to my Instagram and my TikTok where I tend to upload more kind of styling these items over there so yeah thank you to you guys for watching have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys